handle Jumon's approaching strategies. Okay, here's the third part. Okay,这里是加拿大多伦多万锦市范美运动中心WLR5五林峰环球拳王争霸赛中加对抗赛的比赛现场。那接下来呢是一场就是二公斤级的飞龙杯的比赛，即将登场的红方选手来自明辉国
Oh, right on the jaw. None of them speak English, so there will be a need for an interpreter. You know, exactly. Now. Yeah, he, that young man was out before he hit the canvas. So that they, just shows you, Lehman. You saw Lehman come out with every intention of winning this bout, yeah. strong right off the first couple of jabs, right into the push kick. And just then, he was about to throw that kick. I was about to say Brandon's got a strong point fighting background. You're going to see a lot of side kicks and head kicks, and he did it just before I mentioned it. <laughs> it's a little dazed. I think no matter what the language, I think he's saying, what happened? <laughs> I'm where, fine. Where am I? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, every fighter, after they get knocked out, they go, I'm fine, yeah. I'm fine. But they don't realize that they've yeah. been out. So that's why we look after the athletes and ensure that uh, they don't get back. Uh, this young man, if you were Canadian, there would be a 60-day suspension Absolutely. most likely, just to ensure that there's no further opportunity for injury for damage, or damage. Yes. Exactly. 联众国际是一家集留学移民、人力资源和地产投资为一体的专业咨询公司。公司以诚信为本、客户至上为准则。真诚的期待与您合作。Glad to see Jung Kuo back on his feet at the end of the bout. Ladies and gentlemen, at, at 30 seconds of the very first round, your winner by knockout, fighting out of the blue corner, Brandon Lehman! <laughs> I feel really good. First of all, I want to thank all my coaches, uh, my family back home, Team Canada, Waco Canada. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody in that organization. Uh, respect for Team China for coming all the way over here, and I hope they have a great trip. Thank you. Thank
，蓝方选手今年二十六岁，二零一七年 IKF 的世界冠军。我们掌声有请加拿大莫尼。Representing Team Waco, Canada, please put your hands together for Maurice Pompey. 比赛现在开始。Clockwork. Here we go. We're getting ready for bout number four. Just to do a quick recap of the last fight with the athlete gone tight, Waco Canada has very strict policies and procedures when it comes to the health of fighters. They go through a very detailed pre-bout in uh, medical before the event, and both fighters, not just the uh, gentleman that got knocked out, they all go through a post-bout medical, because sometimes athletes do get injuries that you don't see in the ring after the fights, could be foot injuries. So Waco Canada is focuses strongly on the health and safety of the fighters both during, before, and after the event. So, so now we're ready for bout number four against uh, Jun Bo of China and Maurice Pompey out of Canada. Here is round one. And there was a low blow right off the top. So uh, just he has up to two minutes to get himself uh, readjusted, but he's ready to go. And a little warning to the Canadian fighter to keep his kicks up. Starting off with some legs. Kicks can go to the inner thigh, outer thigh, upper or lower leg. The referee does watch to make sure kicks are not landing right on the knee joint for the safety of the athletes. So now we've got a southpaw in Pompeii, meaning that he is right-handed, so he's standing in a right fight stance. And Zhengbo an orthodox fighter in the left fight stance. So we should see some interesting action here. That that does, I was going to say, that does sometimes uh, result in a lot of low blows because they both have an open and exposed groin area with those rear leg kicks, but the athlete's job is to place the kick into the legal target area. Pompey very long of leg, making use of those kicks. I'd say Bo has a little more power on his though. I could be wrong, I'm not getting kicked. <laughs> I like it up here in the booth where it's safe. There we go. It's interesting because uh, Maurice is a very new athlete to Waco Canada, but he has shown a lot of heart and desire. Uh, I mean, we sent a team to China last year, and he took the last fight in China three weeks before he was before we left. Oh my. And he had a great bout over there. Uh, and we've noticed, I've heard a lot, that he's a very humble and dedicated athlete. And his coach, Saji Gavarvies, uh, is a national team coach and has produced many top athletes in Canada. So Maurice has benefited from that knowledge. But he seems, from what I understand, a very humble young individual. That's, that's nice to hear. People have a stereotype of fighters as being thugs, but uh, as a former fighter myself, and I like to think of myself as a lady, uh, you know, it, there's a lot of strategy, there's a lot of dedication and training, hard work, a lot of uh, um, discipline in not just your training, but in your diet, in your uh, training regimen. So 
these gentlemen are displaying that now as they put all of that to work in the ring. There's a nice cross for the uh, southpaw. Maurice seems to be establishing his range because he's got a long reach for both his arms and his legs, mm -hmm. so he seems to be establishing his range now. Yeah, he got a nice uh, long knee in there not too long ago, and he's gotten a couple of jabs onto Bo's chin. And there we go, first round, two minutes of fun. Over and done. Okay, so uh, Saji, Coach Saji Givergis into the corner for Pompey. And uh, Zheng Bo's got his coach in with him as well. Zheng Bo is from Liaoyang in China. And uh, the club is Xing Wu Cheng Shin. I hope that I'm doing it justice. My Canadian accent. Um, Being Scottish, I could never even attempt to say that. <laughs> I get kill myself rolling my R. Well, the Scottish brogue is a tough one for it us is. to <laughs> try to recreate if you're not a legit Scott. So there we go. So you can see Pompey, his coach, is just getting him to breathe, giving him some nice relaxed instruction. If the athlete isn't recovered cardiovascularly, they're not going to take in the instructions. So Saji is showing, uh, Coach Saj showing a lot of uh, restraint in just giving one or two key commands, getting him to breathe and take that in. He seems to have shown a lot of trust in Maurice that knows what he's doing. Just uh, I think the key in the corner is to get him breathing properly, take some little water, get composed, relax. So I don't think there's anything he really needs to educate him at this point yet. All right, so here we are in round two. And we'll see what the scoring opportunities are now for both fighters. It looks to me like Pompey is picking it up a little bit. He's a little bit more aggressive, that's for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Bo got caught in the, the ropes, but uh, was able to untangle himself. Okay. Bo being a little bit more defensive. There, he's taking the offensive now. Oh, and a nice cross nice, and, a, nice. and a rear nice. knee follow-up. Yeah, Pompey, I think, is becoming a little bit more confident in his strikes. He's getting some success with them. Bo, nice shot to the body, and Pompey right back to the face again. He's definitely figured out his range. Both his punching and his kicks, and the kicks are starting to show on his opponent's left side, right side. Oh, another cross. Those straight he's, crosses are he's scoring at will by the looks here. Yeah, doing the job. Like I said earlier, if something works, you keep on doing it until it doesn't. Even if it is just a straight punch, because those clean straight punches are what are going to score. Again, whether it's a kick or a punch, elbow, knee, what have you, there's no elbows in tonight's match, but. It has to be clean. It can't be ricocheting off another body part, arms, legs, etc., in order for the judges to score. It may look good, great to the audience, but the judges are much more discerning in where they allow points. Now, we've spoken a little about the coaches in the corner, just to make sure people are clear. WACO Canada allows coaches from across Canada to apply as national team team positions, which allows them to travel the team when they go outside of the country um, with athletes who are maybe not members of their own club, but they would coach these athletes. And Can has many top coaches, and Waka Can is transparent, has a way of selecting them. And Saji is a, is a prodigy, product of uh, the amazing national team coaches dedicated. So I think Maurice is starting to benefit from some of those uh, experiences that Saji carries, as mm -hmm. long as other coaches from Waka mm -hmm. Canada. Pompey's been uh, really mixing things up with the hands, finding their target, and he's often throwing in a knee, the benefit mixing of him having sure. those long limbs. You know, the long limbs can sometimes work against an athlete if they're not able to control or contr contract, retract the, uh, the shot. Um, but Pompey's doing a good job tonight. There you go, again with another knee. And those knees take their toll. There's another one, just a nice roundhouse side knee. One straight on ahead. Bo seems to be uh, leaving his head line. open a little bit, undefended. 
going to go out on a limb here, and at this point in time, I'd say that uh, Maurice is slightly ahead um, on points. But uh, we'll have to see what happens in the third round because it could go either way depending on what happens. Absolutely, in the third you round. see a nice clean shot right there by Zhang Bo. Uh, I'm not really a betting woman there, uh, Steve, so uh, I, I think I'll uh, reserve judgment. But I, I tend to side with you right now that I think Pompey might have a bit of an edge, just that a lot of those shots were landing cleanly. This is the fourth of 10 bouts. First bout being between two Canadians and then uh, bouts number two through 10. Canada, China, East versus West battle series. I love it. East versus West. It's really nice to see a coach that's just very calm uh, I've, I've just recently come back from the World Championships and some of the histrionics I've seen in the corner, I've seen coaches slapping their athletes and yelling at them and shaking them. And, and it's really nice just to see that Coach Saj through Aqua Canada, very calm, collected, knows what he needs to tell his athlete and his athlete knows what to, uh, to do at this point. So round four, this is the Wild Dragon Cup that they're competing for. And there's some very excited uh, uh, fans, fans, <laughs> I think, for the pound-for-pound -pound athlete, Maurice Pompey. Here we go. Let's see if Maurice can keep up what he's done the last two rounds. Yes. Final round now. This is the one. The money roll. Oh, oh and uh, oh, it looks like this is going to be an eight oh, count. Oh, it's an eight count. Yes. I thought he slipped on no, the mat. No, he staggered a little bit. Okay. The yeah, fighter you needs see. to stand still. The fighter is still. Oh, he's wobbly. Looks like he's a little wobbly. Yeah. He needs to face the referee while he's doing the count so the referee can check his eyes and make sure he's okay. Okay, hands are strong and he's ready to go. So with the standing eight count, gives a, an athlete a chance to collect themselves. And if the, uh, if the referee deems that they're not ready to fight again, they can call the fight at that point. So now Bo is going to have to really make sure he keeps his head defended. Because Pomp Pompey's so. going after him now. He yeah. smells blood. If he's smart, he'll take time. Sometimes they rush in a little too eagerly. So. Yeah, but he's definitely he's not, amping still hasn't got the cobwebs cleaned yet. He is yeah. A little defensive. Pompey's got him in the corner. There we go, Bo finally getting out. But, you know, going from one corner to the next, not a good strategy. He's a little rubbery right now. Yeah, yeah. Doing all he can to stay on his feet. And you know this referee's watching his eyes very closely to make sure he's not going to suffer any damage that can't be controlled. Absolutely. Oh, that was a nice kick to the head. Oh, right on the face again. Okay, Jung Bo is going to really have to pull something out because right now uh, Maurice is definitely on the aggressive, on the attack, chasing him around the ring. Peppering him with knees, roundhouse kicks, straight punches. There's another knee. Oh, okay, so he's definitely wobbling. We're going to see if the uh, referee if gives a standing eight count, or he might have just slipped there. It is a slippery ring surface. He's lost all offensive protocol. He's in a defensive mode, but there's no offense from him. Right and there now. you That's go. There's the referee going the referee in to give good another call. standing eight count. Uh, he's a good, always give him an eight count. Okay. I now, three standing eight counts in a fight, and that is the so, end of the fight. Yeah, okay, so Jung Bo is into number two. Referee will assess to see whether or not he feels that Jung Bo can continue. He will ask him if he's okay to continue. <laughs> uh, is that Spider Man? Older brother or something? <laughs> Either that or somebody didn't make it in the WWE. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we see that uh, referee oh. Brian Nadeau has called him back in. So Zhang Bo is still in contention. But again, Maurice He's still taking punishment. Pompey wants to finish this. I know he wants to finish this now. It's the third round. There's 45 seconds to go. And Les Bosch on some offense is going to get another standing eight count if he's not careful. And that's the one. Okay. Oh, there's the bell. So the uh, oh yes, the I guess they didn't stop the uh, 
the clock. The clock would stop. And there we go. Or it shouldn't stop. The clock does not stop during a standing eight count. So that's why there might be the discrepancy if you saw 38 seconds still on the, uh, on the screen. All right. Well, I think this is pretty much a done deal. Even though he did make it through the three rounds, I think that Zhang Bo really doesn't have a hope of um, pulling out a victory in this. Pompey had a very uh, good strategy. He paced himself. He got his reach. Both his kicks and his uh, knees and his punches were measured very accurately. Yeah. This, this was less of a battle and more of a strategic, you know, finding your target and, uh, and hitting it numerous times. And Maurice didn't get overexcited when he fought ahead. He just kept slowly prodding away, yes. gaining up the points. And yes. uh, I think that's what, uh, I believe that's oh. what he won. Now, I think that was the, uh, we just saw the mayor. That was the mayor the of mayor with, with, uh, beside Patrick Chan. Yes, absolutely. See, everybody's a fight fan tonight. Now we go to Mr. James Spaulding for the decision. Let's be here the scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. It's a unanimous one for the blue corner, Maurice Pompey! Let's get a nice photo with a winner of this fight. Out of the blue corner representing Canada, Maurice Pompey, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. My biggest inspiration was being in China last year. I took that fight on 10 days notice. I thought I gave a terrible performance. And honestly, I was inspired by your guys' culture, man.